Can you guess which country holds the beacon of global leadership, wield its formidable military prowess, economic might, and diplomatic finesse to shape the world order? Which country upholds peace and security to grapple with complex challenges such as nuclear proliferation, cybersecurity threats, health crises, and environmental sustainability? Let us delve into the intricate tapestry of this global leader and unravel its web of responsibilities and contributions, which position it as a leading force in fostering global stability, collaboration, and address the pressing issues of our time. The country we are talking about is the United States, but let us begin by delving into the perspective of renowned realist scholar Thomas Hobbes. Hobbes, a renowned English philosopher, argued long ago that maintaining peace and security among human beings necessitates the presence of a governing authority. According to Michael Mandelbaum, the United States has played an important role in maintaining global order and provided confidence to global community through its global military presence, which helps to reduce worries in Europe and Asia. Likewise, it is America's leadership in preventing nuclear weapon proliferation, as well as its contributions to the international economy by providing a secure framework for transactions, acting as the lender of last resort through institutions such as the International Monetary Fund and sustaining the global economy through American consumers. We make five-minute videos on current issues. Support us through your likes, share, and subscribe our channel as well. Likewise, Robert Lieber, a professor at Georgetown University, argues that there is currently no viable alternative to America's role in global affairs, as the United States is the only nation willing to devote substantial resources and military power to assist others and many countries acknowledge their dependence on American assistance. However, the provision of U.S. services to the world comes at a cost. The U.S. spends considerable amounts on war and reconstruction, foreign aid, and faces significant budget deficits. For instance, the United States possesses formidable military strength. With a defense budget of over $700 billion in 2021, larger than the combined budget of the next three big armies, the U.S. military maintains a vast network of military bases across the globe and operates a sophisticated arsenal of advanced weaponry. The U.S. Navy, for instance, boasts the largest fleet of aircraft carriers, with 11 active carriers, more than the rest of the world combined. Furthermore, the U.S. Air Force possesses a substantial fleet of technologically advanced aircraft, including stealth fighters like the F-35. The U.S. Army is also renowned for its operational readiness and superior ground forces. The United States has demonstrated its military prowess in various conflicts and operations, such as the Gulf War, where it led a multinational coalition to liberate Kuwait, and more recently, in the fight against terrorism in Iraq and Afghanistan. While rising regional powers like China and the European Union seek greater international influence, analysts agree that none currently possesses the economic power, political will, or military strength to assume global leadership. Most analysts warn that if the United States were to decrease its role in international affairs, the world could become a more dangerous and less prosperous place. The potential decline of U.S. global leadership will create severe security challenges, such as nuclear proliferation. For instance, North Korea's nuclear weapons program poses a significant threat to regional and global stability. As of September 2021, North Korea is estimated to possess around 30 to 40 nuclear warheads, according to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. The United States direly needs to engage with regional partners like South Korea, Japan, and China to apply collective pressure on North Korea and find a peaceful resolution. Likewise, in the Middle East, ongoing conflicts, political instability, and the threat of terrorism persists. The U.S. follows strategy of balancing engagement with regional partners such as Saudi Arabia and Israel, while also promoting stability and democratic reforms in countries like Iraq, Syria, and Yemen. The United States work with Middle Eastern allies to combat terrorism by sharing intelligence, coordinating military efforts, and supporting local forces fighting extremist groups such as ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Similarly, in diplomatic arena, the U.S. facilitates negotiations, supporting peace initiatives, and promotes dialogue between the involved parties. 
The U.S. has prevented conflicts, de-escalated tensions, and sought peaceful resolutions to many disputes. For instance, the Iran nuclear deal, officially known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA, signed in 2015 through diplomatic negotiations involving the United States and other world powers, aimed to prevent Iran from developing nuclear weapons. The deal resulted in Iran limiting its nuclear activities in exchange for sanctions relief. Similarly, the recent normalization of relations between Israel and several Arab nations through the Abraham Accords is because of U.S. diplomatic efforts. Today, cybersecurity is a growing concern, and the U.S. is a leader in this realm. As a leader, the U.S. collaborates with international partners to establish norms and regulations, strengthen defense capabilities, and enhance cooperation in detecting and responding to cyber threats. As per estimates, cybercrime damages are projected to reach $10.5 trillion annually by 2025, emphasizing the urgent need to address this issue. Health crises, exemplified by the COVID-19 pandemic, underscore the crucial importance of global collaboration. As of June 2021, the United States has been a leading contributor to the COVAX initiative, a global effort aimed at ensuring fair and equitable access to COVID-19 vaccines. The U.S. has pledged to provide over 500 million vaccine doses to countries in need. Furthermore, the United States has played a vital role in supporting global health organizations like the World Health Organization, WHO, and has committed substantial funding towards pandemic response and preparedness. In 2020, the United States allocated approximately $16 billion to the WHO and other global health programs. In addition to health initiatives, the U.S. has invested in key areas such as education, healthcare, infrastructure, and sustainable development. In 2020, the United States was the largest donor of Official Development Assistance, ODA, providing $35.4 billion in aid. Additionally, the U.S. contributed in the Global Fund to fight AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria, promoting cultural exchange, educational programs, and people-to-people -people connections serves as another avenue for the United States to exert global leadership. International students in the U.S. contribute significantly to the AIDS economy. Over 1.1 million international students added approximately $41 billion to the U.S. economy and supported over 458,000 jobs during the 2019 to 2020 academic year. The U.S. also actively engage in efforts to prevent and mitigate humanitarian crises. In 2020 alone, the U.S. government allocated over $10 billion in humanitarian aid globally, helping millions of people affected by conflicts, natural disasters, and other emergencies. In terms of refugee resettlement, it accepted the highest number of refugees worldwide. In 2019, the United States admitted over 30,000 refugees for resettlement. The U.S. advocates equal rights, opportunities, and representation for women and girls worldwide. According to the World Bank, gender equality could increase global GDP by $12 trillion by 2025. However, significant disparities persist. Around the world, women make up only 24% of national parliamentarians, and more than 130 million girls are out of school. With respect to women empowerment and emancipation, the role of United States is that of a global leader. Likewise, the U.S. promotes sustainable practices and conservation efforts, according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC. Human activities are causing global temperatures to rise at an unprecedented rate. Additionally, the World Wildlife Fund, WWF, reports that since 1970, global populations of mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians have declined by 68% due to habitat destruction, pollution, and other factors. In conservation efforts, the U.S. continue to play a major role. Looking at our above discussion, it will be insane to think about the decline of the U.S. power in the foreseeable future. Likewise, it will be difficult to uphold the global liberal order in latter and spirit as the U.S. voice is powerful and wields considerable influence at global stage. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.